Hello, I'm Lisa Glover. I'm a Dakota County Master Gardener here in our South St. Paul Seed Trial Garden where we've been growing six different varieties of delicata squash for the State Seed Trial Program. It's August 23rd today and it's been just over 90 days since we directly sowed the seeds of these squash into our garden soil here. All of the varieties that we have planted have a between a 90 and a 100 day maturity from the day of sowing to the, the time frame of harvest. And that is just a, a, a gauge or a time frame that, you, that gardeners can use to gauge when their uh, squash might be ready to harvest. Uh, and so since it's been 90 days, we are just in that either at or very close to being able to harvest. You can find the information, if you're curious, on your squash plants. You can find the information on uh, that days to maturity, either on the back of your seed packet or in the, the, the seed catalog where you purchased your squash plants. Another way to determine if your squash are ready is to apply fingernail pressure to the outer skin of the squash. If, it, if the skin is hard and resists fingernail pressure, it should be ready to harvest. And I'll show you that right here. Here uh, is a squash and I'm just going to place my fingernail into the outer skin and it does seem hard. So, or, or actually makes just a slight mark, but it does seem hard and in general resists the uh, fingernail pressure. And then when you do know that it's ready to harvest and you're going to take it off the vine, use a sharp pruners to cut the uh, squash from the vine, leaving about an inch to two inches uh, onto the squash. And this, leaving some of the stem on the squash when you harvest, extends the shelf life of the squash. Uh, I can tell as we go around, there are some that are ready to harvest and some that do, uh, uh, where there's a little uh, fingernail mark, so I can tell that those are not ready to harvest. Uh, what I'd like to do is to show you some of the, the six varieties that we are growing uh, here in, for the trial this year. This is a, a bush variety, and it's actually called a bush delicata. It's, uh, the whole plant itself is a compact and space-saving plant. The vines are really only three to four feet long. And as you can see, the squash itself is about five to six inches long, and it's an oblong fruit. Uh, we're told that they get uh, about a pound and a half to two pounds at maturity. This has the white to creamy background with the green, dark green stripes uh, between the ribs. This particular variety was bred at Cornell University to have a strong tolerance to powdery mildew. And uh, this powdery mildew is something that does occur on many cucurbit plants uh, at, in mid to late summer. We have been noticing some powdery mildew on uh, some of our other varieties of delicata squash. Uh, and so far it seems that this is, there may be some powdery mildew on this variety, but not quite as much as on the other. This variety is called Honey Boat, uh, and it is a much longer vining plant. The vines get up to six feet or so. It has more orangey gold skin with the dark green stripes between the ribs. And the squash are about six to eight inches long and get about three inches across. They're about a pound at maturity. And this variety was bred at Oregon State University by Dr. James Baggett. The third variety that I'd like to show you is called uh, Jester. This is an oval-shaped uh, squash, kind of tapered at both ends. They get to be about a pound and a half at maturity. I really like the uh, splashy green striping around the ribs and then the ivory background. This variety was bred by Johnny Select Seeds and it is a shorter vining delicata squash. This variety is called Zeppelin. It's an oblong-shaped uh, squash and sort of ivory with dark green stripes between the ribs and used to be about a pound uh, in length at harvest. Uh, and then in storage, uh, oftentimes the squash will, in the background will become a little bit more orangey colored and the, um, or the, the background will turn a little bit more yellow and the stripes can turn a little bit more orange. This variety is called Sweet Dumpling. Uh, it is um, actually supposed to be more teacup shaped, and I'm not sure why it isn't, but all of the ones on this uh, trellis where all the sweet dumplings are supposed to be are shaped like this, more oblong. 
Um, so, uh, but this again is ivory, an ivory colored background with the dark green stripes between the ribs. This variety is called sweet potato. The squash itself is about seven to nine inches long and about three to three and a half inches across. The fruits are a little bit bigger. They are about a pound and a half to two pounds and the vines are also a little bit longer at about six feet long. With all the varieties of, that we are growing here this year, you can expect between five and 10 fruits per plant. Now, like all delicata squash, they can be eaten straight from the garden or they can be stored for up to three months in a cool, dry place. Around 50 to 55 degrees would be ideal for storage. And they do not require a curing period like some other winter squash. Now the inner flesh of the delicata squash is a bright orange to yellow color and is, has a very sweet, rich flavor. Some varieties are even kind of a nutty flavor. They taste much like a sweet potato. And the thing that makes a delicata squash unique uh, and a little bit different than many of the other winter squash is that their outer skin is edible. You, when you prepare them, the outer skin is tender, so there's no need to peel the delicata squash. This makes them so versatile. Delicata squash is also very nutritious. They are high in vitamins A and C, as well as some B vitamins and potassium. They're also a really good source of fiber. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, following us along as we have been growing these six different varieties of delicata squash. We, the Master Gardeners will be testing these six different varieties very soon uh, and tasting them for their, uh, the, their flavor, their texture, and anything else that might help you as gardeners be able to decide to plant them in your gardens. And I hope you will. I think they're a really fun plant to grow uh, and very delicious and nutritious.